Hello everybody! Welcome to the next episode. In the last episode, um, we did a few things in the Citadel, and we were dealing with a VI here on the moon. So let's deal with its last cluster. I've also, um, took the time between episodes to think of my game plan of how we're gonna be handling exploring the galaxy. Which I'll get to once we get back to the map. Yeah, so now the barriers, like I mentioned, they are completely useless when you're destroying, like, the VI, but them putting up on the doors does slow you down a bit. Um... What button was grenade? Go grenade! Yeah, just deal with that complete mess. Eat this! Oh, didn't mean to chuck another grenade. I do apologize with the loud noise of the gun, because in the Mass Effect gun, Mass Effect gun? In Mass Effect 1, the guns are extremely loud. And I cannot really do anything about that. I know in 2 it, it and onward, they did tone down the sounds of the guns. So they aren't as deafening. Alert, additionally, su su additional su Bleh. Additional security drones powering up. So there's going to be drones in the room you're not attacking. And they're just as easily dealt with. Negative contacts, Commander. Let's just go over and destroy the And the last cluster to take out. A burst of white noise over all frequencies is nearly deafens you. It are hard to your heart suit's head up display interprets it as a series of zeros and ones. Zero one zero zero one zero 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 one zero 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 one zero one zero one zero zero one one zero 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 one zero one zero 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 zero. They repeat again and again, blanking blanking all frequencies until the lights of the final VI cluster flicker and die. Specialization class achieved. So you get something for Shepard by doing this. And I believe that is binary. I'm not sure what it's saying in binary. I believe it's saying help me. I might look up between episodes what that binary is. But I think that's binary for help me. Uh, which shows that this VI is more intelligent and is Probably more akin to an AI. Specialization class will, will replace your base class in the talents on the squad screen. Talent ranks in your base class transfer over to your specialization class. That's a lot of stuff. We got them all, Shepard. So with that completed, uh, let's do one more thing on the moon and then leave.
Um, so just as a reference, there is something located around here after you've done Novaria or whatever the name of the planet is. But because we haven't done it, it isn't there yet. It isn't necessary for completion, but there is something there if you check it out after completing that planet. Okay, let's go to the debris. We find a probe here. The CCCP Luna 23, which I believe that is an actual, I want to say that's like an actual, like real life um, satellite or probe that exists. I might be wrong, and it might be based on a s similar one. All right, gonna have to get rid of the items later. Uh, nope. Get in the vehicle. Turn to Normandy. So here is my plan for how I am planning on doing the galaxy once we get to the wider galaxy. Let's just quickly check these out so that way you can read. This is where the Prophium Ruins were discovered, which got us Mass Effect technology. Uh, I don't think there's anything in our asteroid belt. Jupiter. Saturn. Also environment training for Alliance Marines. Nice. Uranus, which has a very funny secret to it in Mass Effect 2. And Pluto. So yeah, how am I going to be handling um, ex exploration? So we're going to go to Pharaohs next. Then we are going to go back to the Citadel, as that should um, trigger a few things. Uh, probably along the way, go to, I think it's one of these systems where the Asari hostage is being held. Then we'll do Asteroid, then we'll do Novaria, and after doing Novaria, uh, that should open up another... Um, Story mission. I also forget if that also access another um, system, but that should open up another story mission. And when that story mission opens up, we will take the time to fully explore the galaxy. Anyway, let's go the Pharaohs. Um, we could go the Pharaohs. Let's actually explore the Hercules first. Message coming in. Patching it through. Normandy, this is Alliance Command. We're detecting your presence in the Attican Beta Cluster. One of our surveillance drones was gathering intel on Geth activities in the region when it was spotted and shot down. You need to go ground side and recover the drone's data module before the Geth find it. Oh, there's another assignment. Nothing here. Very small system. The Sidride. Medallion recovered while scanning Sidride. You discovered a large debris field filled in the Gimo Secrets orbit. Chief Engineer Adams conducted several detailed sweeps of the area and detected a few items of interest, including a League of One medallion encased in lead molding. It's land, and such a beautiful world. Also, I believe this world, if I'm not mistaken, is home to something.
Yes, I think this is the planet I'm thinking of. So let's see, in the ease. So we'll go to the down pro first. some resources over there so I'll just mark the map roughly here check out the probe this is the surveillance drone but where's the data module a monkey like creature seems to have made off with the mod data module oh this will be fun As we can see a few dead monkeys. So now we have to check out these monkey colonies to see which one has the data module. Source, which is gold. Get the gold deposit. Let's check out this monkey colony. that down. <laughs> Monkey doesn't have the module. Now I forget if the module is set in stone where on which monkey colony has it and what monkey has it or if it's completely random. I believe the game will not highlight a monkey you've already searched. These are weird ass freaky monkeys. Is that all the monkeys? I don't see any of them lighting up, so I think I've checked them all. So this colony has ended, has, um, ended up empty-handed. Go check the next lot of colonies. Uh, yeah, it looks like there's an opening here.
taking out the colony that's located over here. Actually, I think this might be the correct one. Actually, yes, I think this is the correct one, because I think you have to go in here for the monkey. Yeah, I think it's one of the monkeys in here that has it. <laughs> yep, there's this. I'll go and sell that off off screen when we're back on the ship. Okay, open the door, please. Thank you. Doesn't have the module. Where is this monkey? Is it not in here? Doesn't have the module. Am I going insane? I thought the monkey was in here. discovered the module yet. It has to be the other colony of monkeys. Doesn't have it. Why did I pull out my gun? I'm about to commit a goddamn genocide on these monkeys in a minute. Where are these modules? I think I've explored every colony. 
The only one I haven't checked out is the one over here. Well, we'll go to the breathe and go up here. And if I don't find it, then I am looking up where the hell this module is. Because I'm positive it's the one at the mines, but I didn't find it. Crash probe. Grab that stuff. Now, according to the map, there should be something roughly here. It's like I don't see anything and then it popped up on my mini map. Of course it's gonna be in the most hardest to reach place possible. Down here, get this resource. Get some plutonium. I will go down to this anomaly and then go check this monkey colony. Come on, I know you can do it, Deco. up here. We are approaching the anomaly. Come on. And discover what looks to be ruins. A 
Trophy and Ruben. Now, I believe in order for you to get this uh, artifact, you need to have completed the Asari, um, do the Asari, um, um, the Asari quest in the Citadel. I'm blanking on her name. Examining the strange Prophean artifact reveals a small, all irregular slot on the underside. The consort, that's what it was. Underside, you remembering the strange trinket you re you received from the Asari consort on the citadel. You pulled it out and placed it into the slot. The ball explodes in a brilliant flash of light, of light, of white light. Momentarily binding, uh, blinding and disorienting you. Slowly, your senses return as you wake from a deep sleep. You are alone in a forest, though you are not far from the caves you share with the others of your tribe. There is a, there is a, sm there is a pain and a small lump, lump in, in the back, a uh, small lump in the back of your skull, as if, if a chip of a, of flint it had been forced under the surface of the skin. Leaning on your bone-tipped spear for support, you, raise, you rise to your feet. A sound draws your attention upwards, where a strange creature hovers high above you. It is unlike the birds you have hunted it by the lake's edge. It has no head, no wings, yet somehow it flies. It is a beast of shining silver, hanging motionless, motionless in the sky like a cloud. You sense it's watching you, studying you. Raising a hairy fist, you shake your spear at it in anger, and the creature rise up quickly until it disappears from view. With a satisfied grunt, you make your way back to your caves and the rest of the tribe. You fall into a familiar patterns of life. Hunt for food, the struggle to click, aim, aim and keep a mate. The battles against other tribes that would claim your territory. Days roll into nights and back into days. Each time you rise from sleep, there is a sensation that you are not alone, that, that some other is with you, sharing all you see, hear, and feel. All at these times, your hand goes owes to, owes to the strange lump at the back of your skull, and you remember the silver creature in the sky. The air grows colder, winter falls. You, you must range, range you must range farther for food, cunning, clinching the, the fur or tight against you, against you to ward off the chill. It is on one of these hunts that the strange bird returns. You hear it before you see it. It is a deafening roar as it descends from above, swooping down on you. A single great eye opens, uh, opens on the underbelly, a growing red orb. You try to run, but a fit... Anger, but a fling, but a finger of red light extends from the eye and engulfs you, and all goes black again. You awake, egg instantly later to find yourself on Urania, or Urania, you, or is it like Utania, laying on your back, the Prophean artifact looming above you. You undamaged, and your companions standing over you. They help you to your feet, puzzled. There was a flash of light and you just sort of toppled over, one explains. Are you okay, Shepard? The other asks. You don't answer right away, wondering at the implications of what you have seen. The memories of the uh, of a co-Magon hunter, captured by an implant and Prophean data recorder. How long on did they study the primitive humans, observing them and analyzing the results also at the base, base on Mars? And what, if anything, did they learn from us? I'm fine, you finally replied. Realizing this mystery you will probably never solve, forget about it. So we uh, check this out. Now, unfortunately, we are at time, so I will take the time to research the monkey quest. But, um, see if there was something I'm missing. But yeah, um, fun fact about this Prophean Beacon. Um, this is sort of a beacon of sorts, and this was originally going to have a cutscene attached to it, but they simply, but uh, they simply never didn't have time to finish it. Anyway, 
we'll end the episode off here, and in the next episode, I'm gonna look up how to do this goddamn M monkey quest, because I've checked almost every monkey. So, if you enjoyed this episode, do like the videos, it helps tremendously. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below on your thoughts on this episode, and share the video so that way more people can discover my content and help the channel grow. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Later.